So this, of course, is a um, ESP32 cam from AI Thinker. Uh, nice little board. Um, it has uh, a lot of great features, but it also has an annoying feature, um, which if you Google a little bit on the internet, you'll you'll you'll, you'll learn about. the The basic problem is that the this little flash, this LED flash here, um, is coupled to the um, SD card reader. So that if you're reading and writing from the SD card, um, the LED will flash, which is very annoying if you're trying to use this for you know anything serious. Um, if we took a, a look at the schematic there, we can sort of see the um, the problem. Uh, here's the uh, the LED. A flash which is uh, um, driven by this uh, transistor um, and then this data line uh, h2s data and if we follow that over to the other side of the schematic we can see that h2 hs2 data is uh, one of the data lines off the uh, sd card sd socket um, but it is also uh, connected to gpio4 so if you're using GPIO4 to drive this flash, which is, you know, how it's designed, um, you write, you write to GPIO4, the LED turns on, you, you write false, and then it, it switches off. That's fine, but the problem is, if at the same time you are uh, reading and writing to the SD card, this uh, HS2 data line is going to be um, flickering around. Um, and that's also going to cause the LED to flash. So this is all really annoying. Um, so what can we do? Um, and it turns out with a little bit of surgery, we can correct this problem. Um, in particular, we can drive this LED uh, with a different GPIO. So we can separate the um, this LED from its uh, GPIO4 uh, driver, driver pin. So let's look at how we would do that. Um, first thing to observe here is if we want to isolate this LED, um, it's connected, this, uh, this is resistor 13, HS2 data, uh, is carried through R13, uh, to drive this, this transistor. If we remove R13, well, we've completely decoupled the, uh, HS2 data line from the, from the, flash LED and also from GPIO4. So that is, you know, see if you can see this here, see this little square box here with the four surface mounted resistors in it. The second of these is R13. So you've got to sort of scratch out that um, surface mount resistor. Uh, use your favorite technique for removing it, but I just sort of scratched it out, uh, no problem. Once you've done that, uh, reading and writing to GPI 4 will no longer light the LED, and uh, reading and writing to the SD card will no longer, of course, affect the LED. So that's the first part. Second part is, we have another LED here. There's a smaller LED on the back side of this board. I'll just flip this over, and we can see right here is the other LED, this little one. Now this LED is driven by GPIO 33. So the trick here is we are going to remove this LED. So if we take this LED and we completely remove it, just again, scratch it out, uh, break it off, and that's gonna leave you access to the GPIO 4 pin at the negative side of this LED here. So once you've done those two things, it then is just a question of splicing between GPIO 33, which we pick up off the negative side of the LED, where the LED is now absent, and we run a wire all the way to this point here, right at the uh, where the um, resistor was. Um, actually, the the input to the um, to this uh, transistor. Um, but because we scratched out this, this 1K resistor, we also need to incorporate a 1K resistor in the splice that we make between 
um, the negative side of this LED and um, this absent LED and uh, the uh, transistor driver pin here. If we do that, so here's the original board unmolested and here is what it looks like. So we can see my splice coming in here to the uh, um, driver side of the transistor and in the splice here is a small um, 1k resistor inside my heat shrink and then on the other side if we look at the LED I don't know why you can see this here but I've jumpered right into the the opposite of the plus side here the negative side where the LED was so I pick up my GPIO 33 here I bring it all the way over the other side comes through a 1k ohm resistor comes all the way over here and activates the uh, transistor which then grounds the, um, the LED and allows the 3 volt to flow through it and therefore I can now read and write to GPIO 33 and my LED will, my bright LED will turn on and off without affecting my SD card, um, without affecting my SD card here. And likewise, my SD card can read and write without affecting my bright LED. Um, I've done this modification now a couple of times. I haven't managed to damage any of the uh, um, boards yet, although it is a little tricky. You need a, a very fine soldering iron and a steady hand and, and um, some tricks to, to, to remove the surface mount components. I, I just scratched them off, but you know you, you, there are other better techniques than that. But uh, anyway, give this a try if you, if you don't, uh, if you're not afraid of doing a little bit of minor surgery. They're not expensive boards, so if you damage one, you throw it away and grab another one. Anyway, I hope people find that useful.